Hey guys, uh, in this video I'll talk about the life hacks and the health hack that made me over 25 million dollars in sales in the last year and uh, how you can apply those specifically to your life and uh, to your uh, business. So there are a few things that are important pretty much in life, right? And a lot of people are, are, are focusing on the business stuff, right? Which is, which is normal, you know, everyone wants to have like successful business and have money and society puts like a big emphasis on that. That's, that's like one of the signs of the success, right? But then if you think about it, if you had like $20 billion, right? But you've been, let's say you, you, but you're like fat and you're like not healthy, then you probably won't be as happy person. Like you probably will like, and let's say your, your heart hurts and then your, your kidney hurts and like your, uh, like all of the, you know, you, you're just having this like constant health issues. And, and here, for example, in Miami, you see this all the time. It's, it's beautiful here, beautiful day here, but you see this a lot because a lot of the people who come here to retire, you see they um, they've done very well you know very like wealthy successful people but you know they're old you know they might be like very well very like wealthy and i have some good friends that are like older but then you realize that the real like wealth right is the health right the health and uh if, if you have great family i mean there's so certain things that are even more valued than um then the money right like money is just you know i mean you need like so much of it but then after a certain amount it doesn't matter like how much you have so how do you make that happen right so the question is how do you actually make that happen how do you optimize your life for uh, for health if you're an entrepreneur like working 15 16 hours a day how do you find the time for health just to just to make that part of part of your life make part of your success right like overall success again like not only success financial success you know because that's like again everyone wants that but that's not the full picture so the way i've done it with myself and i mean it's also like i mean most of the these like breakthroughs in my life personally they come from just like hitting some like very low point right so for example i have gained like 30 so uh we moved to united states like one year ago and i have since gained over 35 pounds of weight right like which is about like i don't know 15 20 kilograms uh quite a lot and so so i did that right and so now i feel like it, it, it you know it's more like i feel heavier like it's it's harder to walk and then like i have some pain in here and there you know from time to time and i'm like only 30 years old so what the fuck is wrong with that right like so uh but then you know the message arose like you have to push your business push your business push your business push your business so this is exactly what i have been doing so i would push my business push my business <laughs> at the same time would push my weight up so so how do you actually keep that balance you know of having all of these things done at, at the same time because that's the only way to do it sustainably because if if you push yourself uh, I mean, you might push yourself for a few years, but then you might have the consequences that you have to deal with for the rest of your life. In terms of health, if you ruin your health, then you have to, you will have basically the consequences of that for the rest of your life. Um, so the way I've done it is, you know, so I got myself to the point where it just like, I was very tired all the time. You know, I wasn't as productive and i didn't have as much you know output right because pretty much what's important is not even like the amount of hours that you work uh, in your business but the output like how much you actually get out of it how much you get like out of every single hour right whether you work productive whether you're focused on certain tasks that you have at hand whether you are able to identify those most important tasks in the first place so then you can start work on them and so that has been like a challenge for me and so by neglecting my food by neglecting you know drinking like too much alcohol from time to time i would neglect all of that stuff and so it would like pile up right like so it's like it's like with everything you don't see the result like instantly okay today you're eating like some crap food probably you won't see like meaningful results you won't gain like 10 pounds from it but then like if you continue to do it for a month two months three months 
four months, that starts to add up. The same with good things and the same with bad things, right? Like this is one of those things, they compound effect, right? Like of everything. So that works with money, that works with, with health, that works with like everything. So that would happen to me as well. I would start getting this weight. I wouldn't feel as well. And, you know, I would just like get myself to the point where it's like, I don't have really fucking like drive to do anything. Like, I don't give a shit if today we do like $5,000 in sales or we do like $100,000 in sales. Whereas before I would be obsessed about it. And so what happened was that, you know, so I would drive myself to that point, right? And maybe, I don't know, maybe that, that is requirement. Maybe that is necessary. I don't know to get yourself to, to experience that pain because after you experience that pain, you don't want to go back and you just want to, you know, do it right next time. Right. But as entrepreneurs, we always fucking pushing. So probably that will happen or happened already to you. If you're a successful entrepreneur, you probably push yourself to the limit many times and you got yourself to that point as well. So what happened to me and how I recovered from that eventually was by creating commitments, right? Um, so for example, everyone knows, like every person pretty much knows that they need to go to the gym, right? That's just like obvious. And if person like needs, to, wants to like go, go to the gym, like some days they go, some days they don't. And like, and especially if you're running like a busy business, or, like, you know, a very good volume business, then sometimes you're just like too tired to go to the gym, right? So the way I created myself was by creating commitments. Uh, for example, with my uh, personal trainer that I have, uh, we created the routine and we created the plan. Okay, so uh, you start, um, you know, you start exercising these days of the week at this specific time, right? Then, either I want it or not, I have to be there to train. He's waiting for me. I know uh, he is, uh, you know, I'm accountable, right? So he keeps me accountable. On top of that, I would pay him up front for his uh, service, right? So then I know it's like, okay, I paid for it now. Whether I want it or not, I better fucking just go and do it. So that's one part of the race. And, it, and then he would push me, right? Like he would push me, like you have to like do this exercise, this exercise, he watches me, okay, you, you can do better than that. Pushes me constantly to perform better and better. And my physical shape are just like, I'm like, not not just like visually but also in terms of like how i feel i have so much energy now that i can have a lot more output so that was part of it so part of it is exercise right exercises are very important because humans naturally are designed for movement and like we are sitting all day long in our chairs as entrepreneurs as e-commerce entrepreneurs so we have to occupy ourselves with something we have to give that push and especially for you know, if, you, if you're like a man, then you have to just like let it all out. All of this energy had to go out, right? Because we are designed to hunt, to run, to walk, not just to sit in front of our laptops or computers. And so I did that and that just like, yeah, and now like I start a day with exercise. Wow, it's like, I, I start with a challenge, right? It's, it's great this type of like discipline. It's like, you have to do it, right? You have to do it and you do it and then you feel very good about it because you know you did it and it was hard and you didn't want to do it, but you did it anyway, right? So that lesson, that kind of like algorithm now spreads to other things. So if I don't want to do it, for example, if I don't want to hire like another media buyer, but I need to do it, right? And you do it anyway, like you don't like, you don't think, but you just do it and then you, you, you do it successfully and then you know you've done it, right? So. Uh, that reflects to other areas of life and that makes like that internal change is just like very transformational it gives like um, it will make you so much money right like at the end of the day like that will reflect on your business and if your and your business will make you a lot of money but then other part of that was food right so if you live in the United States I don't know where you live specifically but in the United States the food is pretty pretty bad like so even if you buy food from very like organic places like we, we constantly buy like uh, food in like Whole Foods and other like pretty fancy stores um, but it's it's not a, it's not very high quality right so for example the meat I cannot trust meat maybe there are some good places where you can buy like high quality meat but I just you know I, I asked my trainer to create the diet for me right and again here I don't want to think about it 
I don't want to think about the diet. Like, okay, so if I have the option, if I have the option to order like uh, like Chinese food, which is tasty, but it's not very healthy, or I have an option to eat healthy food, uh, probably I'll order Chinese food and I'll be done like in a few minutes and then it's just tasty and has a lot of like flavors and stuff. So I asked my trainer now to create the diet for me, right? And then our nanny, she cooks for us, right? And she cooks, uh, she puts everything in the boxes, right? So now I don't have to think about it. I wake up, I go to the gym. When I, when I uh, come back to the, from the gym, from my exercise, I just eat whatever is in the box. I don't have to think. I just like open it and eat it. So now that just like freed up a lot of time and, and thinking. Oh, what should I do now? What should I eat today? What should I order? What, where we should order? Should we order sushi? Should we order this? No, there's no such thinking even because everything is pre-done. Everything, everything is prepared. I just open it up and I eat it, right? And that's so easy. So just these two things, guys, if you get yourself a personal trainer, right? Uh, you can have a virtual. So my, my personal trainer is virtual. Uh, it doesn't have to be like in your place. And it works pretty well. Like, you know, he, he tells me, okay, do this exercise, buy this equipment, buy this like dumbbell or a barbell, like, you know, all of those things. Like, so uh, buy these supplements. If I need some, he sends me the link, I order it. You know, it's like, there is no thinking. Uh, the same with food. Again, he tells me the recipes, sends to our nanny. All of the food is in the boxes. I just open it and I eat it, right? That by itself helped me to drop like 20 pounds of fat, right? Like in just like a few months. And I feel like so much better. Our business is like on a very like positive trajectory again. And it's just like so insightful, you know, to to have because like, you know, a lot of people like they think like if they, they have to take care of business, they have to take care of Facebook ads, they have to take care of this like latest like algorithm update. But how about your fucking house? You know, a lot of people would have regrets later on in their life. You know, they would make like, OK, you make like a few million more, you like you'll make like five, ten million more. But like you fucking ruin your house. What's the point? Now, if you think about this way, if you treat your body this way, then you have these expectations, right? Because it's kind of like as you were to value your own body enough, right? And you would you would kind of like treat it as a very important asset. That sounds very profound signal to the brain right because if you treat your body this way then you just start thinking differently right you start being more efficient like by default like your thinking process you your your thinking process will become more clear you will have you'll have better focus it will be easier for you to focus uh, and you'll have you'll be like less distracted you'll be less angry you'll be less like irritated like all of those things come a lot of the times from just improving the nutrition and adding the sport in life very foundational things you know people will tell you hey you need these fucking supplements and you need like it's you you're not like successful because you're not eating these supplements or like brain brain like uh stimulants or like nootropics and stuff um i try some nootropics i i do a lot of you know i try a lot of different things but at the end of the day like i feel the best results were just like sticking to the basics basics right because you can put a lot of stuff into your body um, but if you don't do like if you eat garbage food and you eat like a lot of like very sophisticated nootropics that won't have like profound impact right you will ruin your body and i mean you might be like effective for like short period of time but then at the end like you will just collapse right so getting those fundament fund foundations very important now there are a few more advanced things that i do uh that might be also helpful uh, for you like for example i do the cryotherapy every week i do at least once uh cryo is where you where you put yourself in this like big chamber with nitrogen so it's extremely cold it's like minus i guess like minus 140 or 150 degrees celsius if i'm not mistaken and so it gets your body to a very like cold uh state you're just like very you know it's very uncomfortable at first but then over time you're getting used to it and it's only three minutes the typical session but it gets your body to uh because you know humans body human bodies are designed for cold and cold just like gets a lot of the processes it speeds up the metabolism and um it helps to to burn the weight 
uh, the fat so it has a lot of like positive it has a lot of positive impact on your body right um, also I do the massage so I'd have like the deep tissue massage one two times a week um, and uh, you would want to kind of like experiment with different people like see where you feel like the most comfortable but having those especially as you exercise if you exercise like three five times a week then you need to have a massage to kind of like unlock all of those muscles because otherwise they'll be like tightened and um, also it's not very good for your body right so those are some of the things that I do on top of that I mean I've tried other things and different procedures but I would just stick to this if you, if you stick to these guys and again if you're like running a like seven figure business if you're running like successful business then like spending like a few thousand dollars a month extra on your well-being for example for me it's only like three five thousand dollars extra per month um but the it, you know basically the outcome of that the effect of that right so you have the personal trainer personal trainer you could get like fifty dollars per session three sessions per week it's like uh, 150 dollars so four four weeks um you would spend like 600 bucks the food i mean good quality food doesn't cost as much I mean, probably cost would cost you like extra thousand two thousand bucks per month and then the massages all of this stuff depending where you live would also cost you like maybe like thousand bucks a month extra but the impact that it will have on your productivity let's say you spend like extra like thirty forty thousand dollars a year on this stuff right your production if you're like successful driven entrepreneur will increase like let's say 50 percent or 100 percent right so you'll be able to launch more projects you'll be able to launch more products you'll be able to launch more stores you'll be able to uh, position your store for the successful exit because you'll have the clear thinking so the ROI of that will be fucking tremendous right the, this will pay for itself you spend 30,000 on this a year or $40,000 uh, on this per year but you made an extra you know let's say like a million a year right so the ROI on that is just tremendous guys and I highly recommend just to start putting attention to your body to your mind because those things you know if you take care of them they take care of you and they'll just make your future uh, successful right in all aspects right because you don't want to be just again you don't want to be like rich person who is overweight and is uh, you know has issues with many things like in their body you want to be a holistically successful person person with good relationships a uh, person with good uh, health a uh, person with good you know obviously with business but business is just a result of the personal kind of like how you treat your body how you treat your mind how you treat other people uh, that will basically be reflecting on everything that you do so this is it guys i hope you enjoyed this video um, if you want to be in the right community of people and just that would propel your business to the next level then I highly recommend uh, you join um, our community so we have two types of community one of them is brand hyper growth so this is the community for people that are doing above $1,000 a day it's on Facebook so you can just click on it and get access to it if you're qualified uh, you have to be doing at least $1,000 a day or more in sales to qualify to get into that community and the other is like our private community for uh, people who are already doing numbers already like six seven figure entrepreneurs who want to scale their business to the eight figure level so uh, the link to that should be below in the comments so you schedule a call with one of our team members and we'll see how we can help you uh, to scale your business so this is it guys thank you so much for watching let me know what you think in the comments maybe you had some other hacks that you have used in your life that have been very productive and i'll see you guys in the next video and um, like this video subscribe to my channel and thank you very much for watching